For this particular experiment, we will have nine test tubes. Each test tube is unlabeled and each test tube holds the same quantity of liquid solution. You're going to need three test tubes for X, which will be your first trial. You will need three test tubes for Y, which will be your second trial. And you will need three test tubes for Z, which will be your third trial. So let's begin the first trial. Remember in every experiment, you must have a control and then you should have a variable. In our experiment today, the X solution is going to be the control. So our first step is going to be including the X solution in the base of every tube. We are using a 1 ml pipette. And now we will begin the experiment. Ensure you observe the reactions as they occur when we are adding solutions X, Y, and Z to the X solution. So we add X in the first test tube. As you can see, there is no reaction. We are going to add Y to the second tube, which makes the combination XY. And as you can see, there is bubbling and fizzing. The next step is to add Z to X. And as you can see, there is no reaction. Document your observations in the given areas of your chart. Now we will begin with unknown solution Y. We will fill the base of each test tube with unknown solution Y. Then we will start as we did in the first trial. We will add solution Y to solution Y and observe. Solution X to solution Y and observe. And solution Z to Y and observe. Now that you've taken a moment to document those observations, we are going to start our third trial. For trial number three, we are using the Z-based solution. So we are going to add Z, unknown solution Z, to each test tube. Each test tube, again, is being filled with one ml of the unknown solution. Now we will add unknown solution Z to Z. We 
we will add unknown solution x to z. And we will add unknown solution y to z. Ensure that you've documented what you observed during each trial. Ensure that you annotate which test tube had which solution mixture. Using the scientific method for step three, you will complete a brief lab report using complete sentences. Be as specific in your observations as possible. Your question should be logical. Instead of asking, I wonder what these solutions are, Try to form a question very specific to the experiment. For the hypothesis, ensure that you are posing your hypothesis in a way that will tie to how you will conduct your experiment and your original question. Once you conduct the experiment, ensure that you are listing every step taken in each trial. For example, for trial one, each tube was filled with one ml of an unknown liquid solution X. Test tube two was filled with an unknown solution X. Test tube three was mixed with unknown solution X. The next step in the process was to combine the solutions X with X, X with Y, and y X with Z. The next step after lift, listing each trial, trial one, trial two, and trial three, ensure that you have documented your reactions every time we experimented with a mixture. Trial one should have three, trial two should have three, and trial three should also have three observations. When it's time for you to write your analysis, you should write a summary of what you saw compared to what you had originally asked. For example, in my analysis, I could see that the results varied based on the unknown solutions mixed together. When a solution is mixed with itself, you will annotate the reaction. But when solution X and solution Y were combined, and then you would record your reaction. Finally, when Y and Z were combined, and then you would record the reaction. Also, you will record any other observations that are pertinent to your analysis. Your conclusion needs to state whether or not you've proved your hypothesis or disproved your hypothesis. It is completely acceptable during this experiment that you have disproved your hypothesis. That is part of the scientific method. If you have any questions, let me know, and thank you for attending this lab.